Hi folks, back in the woods today, and today I thought I'd have a bit of fun with two council tool axes, both of which I've featured on the channel before. The difference really, one is a premium range and one is the, the basic standard range. Now the difference in price between these two axes is almost four times. This one is four times cheaper roughly than this one, certainly in the UK. Not sure what it would be like in the States. Now this is a premium axe, it's very nicely made, I do like it. It comes with some nice extras like the they're the sheath. This one is a basic forestry tool. Um, you have to sharpen it up. You have to make a leather sheath. But for four times cheaper, can you really tell the difference? Anyway, so I appreciate that this may be a strange comparison. They're not um, designed for the same market. This one's marketed at um, sort of high-end camping, and this one's very much a forest tool. But they're not that far off in terms of weight, dimensions, etc and really the question is for the price difference um, could you make this one be as good as this one So I know this is very subjective, but really handling the axe and doing the feather sticking, I mean, they're not the perfect tool for feather sticking, but without a doubt, the um, boy's axe was much more comfortable. It's obviously got a narrower profile, closer to a knife, so um, that, that probably has a lot to do with it, but it was much nicer to use doing something like fine carving, which maybe is counterintuitive considering it's got a longer handle, but it certainly felt good. and. Um, Slightly better splitter, obviously with a broader profile on the Campax, but not really too much in it at the moment.
Well, folks, just a bit of fun, as I said at the start. I'm not saying it's a fully conclusive, um, totally objective test, but, you know, I was using the same um, techniques on the same material. Once again, my usual material, which is the dead standing spruce, which is knotty and dry. So certainly the felling test wasn't ideal because, you know, really I'm felling dead wood and it's really hard. But, you know, it gives you a good feel for how the axes perform. Now, obviously the felling is so much nicer with a longer handle. This is a thinner handle, obviously the council tool one. This was the Smedberg's one that I put on this, this axe. I've not really done any additional shaping. I think it does need to be thinned down. So this one is already, as I say, out of the box, lovely handle. Now here's a bit of an interesting point for me. I replaced the handle on the pack axe with the 24 inch from the, well, was that 18 inch handle? because it's quite a heavy head and it just felt a bit too heavy on a short handle and it definitely improves its functionality with a longer handle but it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a weird one because now it's getting a little bit too long to fit my rucksack so it's starting to become too long for a pack axe and yet it's still quite a heavy axe so when you start getting into the realms of this length of handle I definitely felt this was a nicer axe to use so the, the cheap um, boys axe I would say most of the things I was doing today was just a nicer racks to use. So it is a difficult one. If this was on the shorter handle, it would fit me rucksack better. It would be a one-handed axe, but then you wouldn't be able to do felling so easily or anything like that. Now, I appreciate it's got things like the hardened pole, um, a very different shape that's been thought out for camp tasks. So it's, you know, it's, I'm not really comparing like for like here, but just as a sort of thought experiment, you know, different price range, what are you getting? You know, I have to say, I would take the boys axe even if it was more expensive um, than it is. So yeah, bit of fun. Um, obviously that's just my opinion. I'm sure everyone else has got many different opinions. Both great axes. I love Council Tool, I think they're an amazing company. But um, you know, this is still one of my favorite axes, this boys axe. So anyway, I hope that was uh, enjoyable and thought provoking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.